Hey. Hello, 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 or what's up, paper cup, or whatever. Wow, it feels so weird being back in front of the camera. How are you? It's been a long time. Update mo naman ako. You can tweet me at Nate six or comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are up to. Gosh, ang dami nangyari. Uh, I think napansin niyo naman lahat na mm, medyo meron na akong chubby cheeks a little bit. Kung interested ka to know what has been happening with my life over the past month and a half, just stay to the end of the video and then I'll discuss everything there. But for now, let's get into the topic of the day. How to marry Kondo. Your relationships. Para sa akin, isa sa mga life mantras, is that what you call it? Ko, is that a purposeful life is driven by purposeful awareness. Or if you switch it up, purposeful awareness is the key to a purposeful life. Kapag aware ka sa mga nangyayari sa buhay mo, and you are aware of where you are of, I don't know, like your your bodily health, your emotional, mental state, especially your relationships, when you are aware and purposeful about it, all these elements happening in your life, then you can have a purposeful life. That's a real talk natin ngayon. I'm going to tell you guys what I think could be good tips on how to, how do you say it? Do a relationship detox siguro. I mean, lahat naman siguro tayo nakaranas na tayo ng toxic relationships. Doesn't have to be like a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, but even like just that friend who's always putting you down or that friend na palaging freeloader or that person that's always in the room na sobrang yabang. And, and you just, uh, you know, like as much as you want to be nice to that person, which is great. It's a very Filipino thing, but just, just be hospitable. But at the same time, is it healthy for you? You might be spending so much time and effort and energy to take care of this person, but are you taking care of yourself? Oh. So here are some quick tips based on what I learned from sources on Marie Kondo's teachings. Also take note na as I translate Marie Kondo's teachings into relationships. Ako hindi ako expert on relationships. I'm not some sort of certified counselor. Pero meron akong experience with relationships in my own life. So take everything with a grain of salt. And if you disagree, then politely disagree in the comments down below. That's fine. So si Marie Kondo, meron siyang what she calls her KonMari method, which uh, I got from the book The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. The steps are as follows. Number one, you commit yourself to tidying up. And then you imagine your ideal lifestyle. Then you finish discarding first. And then you tidy by category, not by location. And then you follow the right order. And then you ask yourself, does it spark joy? Ang walang kamatayang does it spark joy ni Marie Kondo. Let's get into this right now. So the objectives here are to get rid of unhealthy and toxic relationships and then also to identify and then later on strengthen the relationships that matter. Number one, commit yourself to tidying up. So I'm not gonna give you some quick tips that you're just gonna read or listen to one day and then, oh, maybe I should do that one day. No! You go to Starbucks! You sit down with your pen and your paper. Your cell phone mo, off mo yan, or airplane mode mo. Carve out one whole hour like you would for studying or for working and just, just, just sit down and write. I am going to take care of my relational health. Period. Alam mo ba, bad relational health, bad relationships are one of the main causes for anxiety and depression because Honestly, I believe that relationships do make the world go round. The people that you hang out with make who you are. Sabi nga, diba? Tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you my friends. I'll tell you who you are. Someone else nga said that you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. Sabi din sa Bible that bad company corrupts good character and that he who walks with the wise grows wise. So we need to take care of who we hang out with and who our friends are. So nasa Starbucks ka na, may one hour ka na, get your pen and paper and write down what you think your ideal lifestyle would be. If you're an artist, you draw it. If you want to type it on your computer, do that. Pero wag ka mag Facebook, okay? If I were living my best life, I would be working out this often. Bata ako, I would have good grades. I would be satisfied with my work. Ito yung ginagawa ko every day. Then maybe if you want, you can even describe like kung ano yung maging ideal what your day would be like on the weekdays and then on the weekends. Pag may gimmick ka, where would you be going? Who would you be going out with? And then that's how it relates to your relational health. So you look at your ideal life, okay. 
how much time in your ideal life would you be willing to spend time with friends? How much effort would you be willing to give them? And who would you be willing to hang out with if you were your ideal self? And when you get into the mindset of, okay, I'm gonna live my best life, I'm gonna become my best self, and I'm gonna pursue my best relationships, you also get a feel of what are the toxic relationships in your life or the unhelpful ones that you might be giving a little too much energy to. I'm not saying that people are not worth your time. I'm not saying that people themselves, which are amazing creations of God, are not worth being loved or are any less than you. No, that's not what I'm saying. Sinasabi ko lang naman, we all only have 24 hours in a day and limited time, limited energy, limited resources, limited money. And if we're gonna invest in relationships the right way, then we gotta invest wisely also. You look at all the successful people in the world, they are not number one best friends with every single person in the world because that's humanly impossible. So we also gotta get over the fact that we can't please everyone. But when we identify the people that matter, we pursue that relationship, we love that person, and we invest in that person. Number three, finish discarding first. Now, I have a personal story that is a little bit sensitive. There was a time, 13 or 14 years old, ako, and I just accepted every single Facebook friend request that came my way. That went on until the time when I was yung kapatid ko si Janina Vela, and like there are so many of her Vela fam that started adding me also on Facebook, and because I don't know, it feels good to have a lot of Facebook friends sometimes. I accept that. But honestly, parang, depending on how you treat Facebook, of course. Because it's Facebook, diba? But I don't know, para sa akin, I moved into a time where I wanted my Facebook friends to really just have only my true friends. My real life friends that I would willingly spend time, energy, and money on. If I have no true relationship with that person, um, yeah, there was a time where I would very gently unfriend people that I had no connection with. Because I would see them on my feed and I'm like, wow, a story about somebody that I don't really know at all in real life, you know? And the same thing can apply even to toxic relationships. When they're unhealthy relationships, people on your feed that just post negativity, feel free to give them a gentle mute or unfollow or even an unfriend. Number four, tidy by category, not by location. And this was a bit hard for me to translate into relational health and relational tidiness. You can apply this in different ways, but I would recommend that you consider thinking about who you see as your close friends, as your acquaintances, as your work and school friends, as your family, your childhood constant friends who are always there no matter how far you haven't seen, how far apart you are or how long you haven't seen each other. When I was young, my dad always told me that um, God comes first and then his wife, who's my mom, and then his family. And then the list goes on. There's like close friends in there, there's church in there, there's people he's discipling because he's a pastor in there. There's his workmates in there. And personally, I don't like categorizing people. No one really likes categorizing people. But for this purpose, it should make sense because the next point natin is number five, follow the right order. Now, my parents always taught me that when priorities are clear, decisions are simple. If it comes down to it and two people that you know are asking you, Nate, can you come to my party? Can you come to my debut? Can you come to this and that? And it's on the same day, same time, pero magkalayo yung dalawang venue. Where, which one are you gonna go to? You're not necessarily saying that this person is better than the other person, but which relationship? is the one that you're gonna prioritize. Siyempre, ako maging harsh yung sinasabi ko, but it's important for our relational health to make a list of, okay, my girlfriend comes first, right? And then my close friends, and then whoever, whoever. Um, depende naman yun sa'yo, iba-iba for different people. We all have different values, but if you have your priorities in order, when it comes down to it and a person you highly, highly prioritize is asking you to come to an event, and then somebody, you know, that you don't prioritize as much, ask you to come to an event, you'll be able to respectfully and politely say, I'm sorry, I already scheduled with this person. And hindi ka magda double book, you're not gonna be a jerk and try to go to both, pero dahil sa Philippine traffic, it doesn't work out. You know, it's always okay to say no in a polite way. Kainis din minsan eh, mga, hey, let's go to this place. Oh, sige, let's see, let's see. Or yung may plan sa Facebook, tas mag-click ka na lang ng interested in this na going or not going. Di ba parang, that's just my personal thing, but 
just say no politely and it's gonna be more convenient for the both of you and if you do it you know the right way then nothing's gonna change okay number six yung walang kamatayan doesn't spark joy ni Marie Kondo maybe you can think about it in terms of past present future when I think of this person everything we've been through does my relationship with her spark joy has it sparked joy in the past is it sparking joy today and do I see it sparking joy in the future not just for me but for her also? Yes. If yes, then by all means, pursue that relationship with all you've got. If no, then it's always okay to politely and respectfully say no or to meet the person online or unfollow them online. At yun ang mga tips ko to relational health based on what Marie Kondo has been teaching. If you gained insight from the stuff that I said today, then please like the video. I really appreciate it. It really, really helps the channel. Kung napansin nyo, I am in the process of rebranding my channel. We're gonna change things up a bit. We're gonna have real talks. We're gonna talk about real things. I noticed na ang dami sa inyo, you guys enjoyed yung 12 Days of Mukbang ko. Uh, na series last December. If you haven't watched all of the videos, I recommend you check those out now. But before we end and before you comment down below, we'll do a quick Q&A session first. Gusto ko every time we have real talks, na q and a tayo so that we get insight into what you guys actually want to hear. Alright, nasa Twitter tayo. If you want to get a chance to ask your own question, then make sure that you're following me at NateKindalan6. And dami natin questions. Let's do this quickly. How do you balance spending your time with your friends and with her slash him? You both need to sit down and talk about it for real. Something that I like to do is to have a weekly date night. Thoughts about seasonal friends? Um, they exist and they're a real thing and you need to accept that not all friends are gonna be there for your whole life. Does that make them any less of a person? No. You're just as thankful for them. I have the perfect song for this. It's by my friend Fiona. I'm linking it down below right now. It's called Not A Love Song. How can you say that your friend is a good friend? If over the years and right now and in the future, you see yourself becoming a better person because of that person, then that person is a good friend. Every mga short answers ko won't encompass the whole thing, right? But I mean, that's a glimpse. How to say no without hurting his or her feelings? Um, You accept it in yourself muna eh, that you are secure if you say no politely, if you say no respectfully, you can even practice it with someone or ask someone for advice on how to say no respectfully or politely. Pero siya pa rin yung may negative reaction, then that's that person's problem because you did it the right way. If that person was really your friend and really supported you, then he or she would understand. Advice to those people na ayo let go yung friendship nila sa taong toxic na sa kanila. Okay, um, makinig ka sa mga kaibigan mo. You listen to all your other friends also because you are not the master of yourself, honestly. The people around you that see you in all your different facets and modes and have been with you through the years, they will know you and they will see your blind spots. This could be your blind spot. If you're humble enough to realize that, then you're gonna ask the right people. And if you ask the right friends, syempre, dapat more than one yon, and also dapat through the years kanya kilala. And then also, you trust that this person is wise, then they are probably gonna be right. Let go mo na yan. Did you pray back then that you'd meet a girl like Pauline? Yes, I did. And thank God that he provided above and beyond my expectations. Pauline, you're more than I could ever ask for. I love you. Is it okay for ex-lovers to be friends or better forget about each other forever? That is something that you will have to both decide and you will have to decide with your partner. It's a cultural thing. In some cultures, it's better talaga na I cut off mo yan. In other cultures, people regarded as, ah, it just didn't work out, you know? That's fine, you can still be friends. But then, uh, that also depends not just on your personal convictions, but also your partners, and you have to stand together on these things. It takes a conversation for you to come up with an answer. As I always like to say, it's a base-to-base -base case. Eh? How do you balance documenting the moments that you share with friends and family through vlogging and actually just putting down the camera and spend? Okay, so this is something that I had been struggling with for the past maybe six months. But I have news for you guys. I am no longer identifying as a vlogger. What? What? I just said it. Okay. Can't believe I just said that. Yeah, um, I am a YouTuber and I am an inspirational, motivational speaker. If you want me to speak at your school, 
you can email me if you want. Pero ako personally, I've decided to take my channel toward the more real talk route. Na enjoy ko talaga yung 12 days of mukbang ko last month, even though hindi siya talaga 12 days. I think I only did 10. But I like talking about real things. I like talking about substance. And I like adding value to your life. You watching this video right now, yes, I'm talking to you. I do this because I want to add value to your life. There is always room for entertainment value when it comes to pranks, when it comes to, I don't know, makalakohan videos. There's always room for aesthetic value. Pero ako, I want to add value to your life in terms of quality of life, in terms of making good decisions, and stuff like that. So I hope you will subscribe not just to me, but also to my podcast, which I am putting out. I'm going to try to uh, start posting again on Anchor. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this. Yeah, link down below. I already have my first episode out, which is really just updating you guys on where I've been and what my plans are for me, Nate Punzalan, the non-vlogger but still YouTuber and inspirational speaker. So you will probably see a lot less, hey guys, travel vlog, please subscribe um, from me, which is super cool. Kudos to the people that do that. But ako, I am going to spend most of the time that I have with my family, friends, and girlfriend completely and presently with them and with no camera to um, hinder our time together. That's it. That's the whole video and that was a long video. <laughs> Ayun nga pala, um, what have I been doing lately? Uh, you can listen to my podcast if you want to know more. But most of it has been working as a production house, making videos for companies and for corporate. Na hindi ako yung talent. So I have a more corporate more legit sounding job that I've been working on. But na miss ko yung creative freedom, so I really wanted to get back to making videos for you. So that's it. Uh, wow, that was a long video. But if you made it to the end, then please comment BROCCOLI BROCCOLI I LOVE BROCCOLI in all caps. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Let's seize the Carpe Diem together.